Hello, Buzzard Gods. My name is Hotzelsey, and we are back here in another day in Minecraft. And we have arrived in 1.20. Took me a while. It's always a bit uh, a hassle with, with all the mods updating. Um, but finally did it. And uh, I was not that excited about the update. For me, the best thing in it are editable signs. Um, but let me know what you think of that update. But we are here. Um, in the last few episodes, we uh, tried to figure out how to uh, uh, drill a hole um, down to bedrock uh, while preserving all the blocks that we dig out of the hole only to come to the realization. Uh, possible, but not really practical. So, today we stand in the rain and we have some, some uh, other projects that we need to finish. And we will start um, right here. Uh, we have this couple stone generator back there and we want to deliver shulker boxes of cobblestone to our storage array or to the smelter. And for that we need um, some waterways to go around and as you can see uh, we need to dig out big of a, a trench going this way and uh, this one goes to the storage so probably a bit over that way and then over and we also have to figure out uh, how do we insert the uh, the shulker box into the sorting system we can try to add it at the bottom of uh, uh, this uh, hopper tower somewhere there there it goes up or we can just drop it in from the top which is probably easier uh, because uh, what we would need to do is extend the, the dropper tower and then we would have input on two levels that would trigger the droppers uh, uh, to to put everything up. Uh, probably we will have a bubble waiter all the way to the top and then drop it in there. Um, but then we also have to cross this line because that wants to go all the way to the back so maybe we have that under the storage system uh, so we can avoid just that but I think first things first grab some uh, TNT to uh, dig a trench this way uh, to here somewhere then that way uh, until maybe around the, the portal and then we can go up. The first trench is dug and the water stream is led out and I decided to cover it with this yellow gloss basically uh, signifying uh, the, the item that we are transporting there. However, probably here in the in the last segment or at least here in the uh, upshoot, we will probably not only have shulker boxes with cobblestone because everything that we request from there uh, will go up here. And that brings us to the point how do we insert this in the best possible way. 
Um, we have here the system that comes from uh, the normal input uh, down there through this dropper elevator in here. And then here we basically figure out is it an item going into the, uh, the shulker box or is it a shulker box uh, then going down there. And as we always have shulker boxes delivered to us, we basically could hook up directly to that line. Um, so let's see, uh, that's this chest. Um, we could basically insert it in here coming around here that would probably work um, maybe uh, where we have that that glass there uh, I think the the glass itself is not important because what I want to avoid here on this side, is we have a torch tower uh, which can then um, power uh, the, the whole thing um, and um, we do not really want that. Okay, I think we will hook up the, the input line here uh, through that piece of uh, gloss there and Hopefully, that's that's how it it will work, and then we also have to add the other line for the cobblestone that we need in the smelter from there uh, under here and over. Uh, at least on this side, I think we do not need to dig a trench but uh, maybe on the uh, uh, other side we will need it. But I will finish this first and then we can have a final look. As you can see, the second line is now also in, also color coded uh, with lime. And back there, I'm not sure if it's, yeah, can see a bit of uh, green gloss there. That's uh, basically where the shulker box then is added to the system. What we are still missing is basically the signal requesting the system. And you can see uh, by this block, uh, but uh, more prominently uh, here, on this side where we dug a, a trench, it's getting difficult to cross from one side of the, the this, this line to the other. And eventually we will cover all this up anyway and the new floor will be basically flush with all our farms that we have but that's probably not happening today or tomorrow. So I think uh, to finish this episode off, let's build some uh, bridges over here. Uh, nothing too fancy uh, because uh, it's, it's just a, a temporary thing that we need here. Uh, so uh, let's figure out something that we can do. And we also want to make sure that, um, uh, let's use cobblestone slabs and then maybe some fences. Um, I have, uh, yeah, but 26 and 26. So 
I am thinking maybe here in this area we need something then uh, over there to cross over. However, there it's not that peculiar. And probably here we also want to have a way to get over the thing. Um, because it's just bit too high to to jump up and uh, the other way to get around here would be on this side going under but um, we have the thing set up so uh, let's build some bridges to uh, finish this episode off now doesn't that look magnificent very not 2012 like and not that i have played this game this long but there are a few issues uh, mainly uh, here it's pretty difficult to get onto that bridge because uh, it's not connected to the floor and over on this side uh, the bridge ends in the gap there so I think we will have to do something to cover this up and we will do that um, with uh, a bit of uh, slab action and I think we can do it like that uh, bottom slab meaning uh, we are also spawn proof and i don't think it it matters um, if there are gaps like here where you can see through because uh, as mentioned eventually uh, everything will be covered up and that aligns nicely uh, with uh, that part so I will have to place a few hundred slabs to cover everything up but then we should be ready to uh, focus our attention on something different in the next episode meaning this is the end of this one. If you enjoyed this uh, weird thing here, please consider leaving a like. Uh, and if you want to have more of it, do subscribe uh, because it gets just weirder, I think. All right, until next time, goodbye.